welcome back to another vlog. Today I have been to Little, so I just figured what I would do was pick up the camera, take you through a full little shop with me. Obviously, you never get everything. Realistically, you don't get everything. You always have a few bits in the house, but everything that I got today and sort of a bit of reasoning behind it as well. So protein, carb, fats, micronutrients, what I got and how it works for me. Because I'm going to be different to other people, but as a professional rugby player, this is what I got for the week. So without further ado, I'm going to act like I've just transitioned to the table behind me and I'm going to start talking about food. So stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. So to start off with, after moving the table, I have today's haul of protein. Protein is going to be key to muscular growth recovery and overall repair of the body after intense training sessions and for myself after rugby so i have a couple of bits here this is not all the protein that i will get and just to take a quick note before i dive into this shop after training we get meal preps provided to us as well as protein and creatine so i do supplement protein creatine and some other supplements and get meal preps after training as well as a slight addiction to eating out and eating nando so this is not everything that i'm gonna eat and i this will probably not last a week even but some of it will so we have two liters of whole milk put it as a protein you could argue it's a fat source it has carbs in it as well but anyways whole milk mainly consumed in the form of flat white and protein shakes <laughs> one kilo of chicken breast not much to say it is probably Pound for pound, one of the leanest, cleanest sources of protein. Very little calories, very little fat in it, and it's fairly cost effective. Then we have two packs of bacon. There is protein in bacon. If it's your primary source of protein, probably not ideal, but you know what, it tastes good. And I'm not on a strict diet, so I can definitely afford the extra fat and calories in bacon. Then we go into our beef stuff. We have um, grass-fed, Mints, 5%, really handy. Bolognese, chilies all over it. Love this, like, staple of the diet, really. And then two grass-fed steaks as well, because steak is sick. And then 36 large eggs. I have six a day. 36 divided by six, six days worth of eggs. To be honest, I usually get 15 packs, but they didn't have them, so... 36 large free range eggs it is this is this plus protein is basically the bread and butter it's the staples of my diet in terms of protein not much else comes in this lean lean steak lean beef eggs chicken milk and a bit of bacon is everything that i consume really alongside supplementation in terms of protein and really going to help me recover for rugby next up we have our carbs and sauce section of the video. So I sort of put this all together in terms of a bit of flavorings and a bit of carbs I've got. These also could come out under micronutrients, I guess, because some of it is fruit. But this is my main carb sources, along with potatoes, rice and pasta, all of which I already had. So I didn't need to get them in this shop. But I say that and I'm about to introduce two packs of potatoes. These are microwavable potatoes. Herbie potatoes are 99p per packet. These steak, broccoli, 10 minute meal, so handy, high in protein, high in carbs. So these are really handy. I have two packs of these, I have two steaks. They are gonna go together. Simple, two simple meals. Again, I always say this. If you're not having pink lady apples, don't talk to me. Pink lady apples are god tier. So I've got six of those. A thing of sourdough from the bakery and that, look at that sourdough. That looks top of the range. Serious message that sell though. Bananas, get them green now. By the time six of them, by the time day six they're going into a shake, gonna be a perfect banana. Perfect. Then in terms of sauces, I got some pesto, some Dormillo bolognese, and I stocked up on some chili powder as well. Whatever you season your protein with, it doesn't really matter as long as it tastes good. Um, I got an old El Paso one pound rice kit. These are just like god tier to be honest i love fajitas i love rice kits i love the lot and five packets of dried mango dried mango as literally been like my favorite snack started on 75 pound and i've just stayed with it and oh my days 
if you're not on the Droid Mango Buzz, get on it, unreal. Before I dive into the last section of this video, the micronutrients, I just want to make it abundantly important and clear to all of you watching. Carbs are needed for performance, for recovery. At the minute in this industry, in the fitness industry, a lot of people are demonizing carbs, telling people to cut them out, telling people to go all meat, all in on a high fat, high protein diet, removing carbs, go keto, which is absolute nonsense. At the end of the day, if you're trying to lose weight, creating a calorie deficit is the only logical way to do so. But if you're trying to peak for sport, you need to be eating carbs, and I will continue to consume carbs as long as I'm a professional athlete. But to move on, this section is just micronutrients. I know I didn't go into a fat section, but I hit my fats through my eggs, through my meat, through consuming olive oil. I don't really need to dive into a complete fat section. Eat your fats, it's not too difficult. Over here is the micronutrients veg. So, got three red peppers, red peppers are goaded. If I can juggle these on camera, I'm gonna be impressed. If not, I have to restart the recording, but we are on the red peppers buzz. Boom, three of that bad buzz. Absolutely unreal. Tender stem broccoli, love this stuff. Top of the range, have that with the steak. Garlic, because I really want my breath to stink. Red onions, like self-explanatory, they literally go in every single food. Um, a bag of organic spinach and a bag of four berry medley from these shakes. I'll probably freeze that as well as the berries. Stick those into the freezer and that sums up like the micronutrients. Again, not all I have, have some veg already in the gap. Have a little bit of that kind of stuff, but by that, that is a bread and butter of it. Now, this total shock today, everything that I displayed in this video came to 60 pound or 61 pound, so a decent bit, I guess, but at the end of the day, you could definitely save money in terms of, you don't have to get tender stem broccoli, you don't have to get organic spinach, you don't have to get grass-fed steak or beef in general, so that total at 60 pound, it's not all the money I spend on food throughout the week, it's not a full week shop. I very rarely spend the entire week not eating out at all, between the meal preps of training and just going out for a feed, usually a Nando's pre-game on a Saturday. But the key to take away from this is getting quality whole ingredients that are gonna be beneficial towards your recovery and prioritizing hitting your macros and your micronutrients, not just being a complete bro and smashing the macros in whatever way possible and filling your remaining calories with McDonald's chips or ice cream. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.